Hello, hello, Blake Hart here today, coming at you with a, you know, a, it's this is for beginners, but it's also for people that maybe don't really know this particular tip. And I want to start making a few easy videos, simple videos that show you just little tips inside of DAWs, because I feel like when I'm trying to learn, sometimes it's hard to come a, across the videos that, you know, maybe will be helpful to me. So I thought for you guys, let me show you some tips and tricks of things that I do that I've learned about relay them to you because they may be helpful for you as you learn Ableton or just make music in general. So this one's about easily creating drum patterns. Drums have always been, um, a tough spot for me. I don't know why, but I just can't get comfortable with them. I cannot create the patterns, um, as dynamic as I would like to doing my little fingers. Uh, so I've been using tools such as loops, uh, superior drummer, uh, patterns from machine. And this particular hack for Ableton is so powerful. I needed to tell you about it because I think it's going to help you if you don't know about it already. So let's do it. Um, we're going to drag in a sample, just a drum sample into an audio track in Ableton. So this is the sample. So we've got it in there and what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and we're going to go down to convert drums to new MIDI track. Uh, there's a few other ones here and they're all very powerful. Uh, really awesome. This is a great, great feature of Ableton, um, but we'll convert drums to a new MIDI track. And what's going to happen is it creates a MIDI track for you with a drum rack in it. If you're not familiar with Ableton yet and drum racks, a drum rack is a nice feature that you can plug all of your drums into and have control over effects and various other aspects of each drum sound within one track, one MIDI track. So we've got it pulled over. We'll give this a listen and it just put in uh, it, just a basic drum rack. It automatically comes up with that. So it's the same beat. You can hear just with different drums. So the first thing I'm going to show you is maybe you just want to take the hi hats from this particular pattern because you're not the best at doing hi hats. Well, that's so easy, right? Um, we can just um, I'll just just do this. I'll just show you. I'll actually just duplicate this track here and just delete. <laughs> all the stuff you don't want, right? Let's say you just want the hi-hats, just delete everything else. And the really cool part about this is everything is retained, like all the velocities and all the different characteristics of this particular loop that made it nice. Let me shut this other one off. So you just have the hi-hats. So let me go through and show you how to replace these sounds because you want to make it your own. Um, I'm going to delete the hi-hat track here and we'll just go into this particular one with all the sounds and we're going to go into the drum rack and we're going to replace the sound. So let's hop into, we'll hop into, um, I guess one of Illmind's kits here. Uh, I bought like the huge pack of everything at some point for a really good price. So, um, watch out for your emails that happens from time to time. Don't think I just bought these all singular. Oops. So that may happen. Sometimes you, you press on this and you're like, what happened? Where'd my old drum rack go? And what happened is it just, I clicked on it. Must, I didn't think I double clicked, but it replaces it with this sound. So just control Z and you get back to where you are. No worries. So we're going to take this and we're going to drag it into where it says snare. Actually, I want to show you this. So you're probably thinking, well, how do I know what drums are playing? There's so many things in this rack, Blake. How do I know? It comes up as yellow. So I know I got the kick, I got the snare 606 and the hi-hat. So those are the items I'm going to replace. So I'm going to bring my snare down to where the snare was playing. So you can hear that that was replaced already. Let's go and grab a kick. So I take the kick, move that down. Uh, the other thing that may happen to you and you're like, oh my God, what just happened is this rack is huge. There's, see how many empty spots there are? You wanna make sure you're on the part that's gray. That's where your drums are. And then let's find a hi-hat.
And the cool thing about this is you can keep trying things. Like you'll say, I don't like that. Let me find something a little bit tighter. So you can just keep playing around with sounds and easily drag them in and get the vibe you're looking for. So here's the two chick compared to each other. This is the one we just put the drums in. This is the original. You got the same exact beat. It allows you to make it your own, uh, you know, process everything that you, what you wanted with your sounds. So I'll show you how to do that. It's really easy in the sense of like getting these individualized. So if you want to process the kick differently than the hi-hats, differently than the snare, you just duplicate, I mean, duplicate these three tracks and just like I showed with the hi-hats, start taking stuff out. So let's say we want our first one to be the kick. I can delete everything except for the kick. Second one, let's say I want it to be the snare. I'll delete everything except for the snare. And then the third one, like I did in my first example. So we'll make this the hi-hats. So now, we have them all on separate tracks playing, so we can process them any way we want. Um, so that's pretty cool. So you'll hear here, I just can play the kick. That's this is playing. And you can easily, you know, duplicate this again, add in and, you know, change on a drum, add in any drum you want. And yeah, it's just a really fun and easy way to come up with your own drum patterns, your own drum beats inside of Ableton. When you just need a little spark, a little help, you need somebody else helping you out a little bit. And like, maybe it's just to get the kick and the snare and then you add everything else, whatever the case, uh, this is just awesome. And I had to make sure that you knew about it if you didn't know about it already. So thank you for watching this video today. Hopefully it was helpful for you. Um, I will bring some more videos like this because I think it's just, easy for us creators to overlook some of the easy stuff and when you're starting out little tips like this and that maybe you don't know about can go a long way so hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to see more videos like this in the future and i will see you again soon